So they opened this finally here. It is, that's the, our first event for mm -hmm. the local people and people on Patreon. Um, so we're opening the shop up for them so I can have a look around. And we've managed to get a bit of the furniture out of storage as well to place in some of the rooms so okay. people can get an idea. It's nice for us because we have no idea what's in your head. No. So no. it's finally nice to see some of the bits come out of the barn, go into the rooms and, and have an idea of what's going to happen on the first and second floor because we haven't got a clue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll take you around, mm -hmm. show you, give you a tour of the rooms because obviously they've changed as well. Yeah. Show you the furniture and go from there. Yeah. And let us know which room you think is the nicest have with the furniture. Yeah. We've all got our own favourites, yeah. so let us know what yours is at the end of the video and we'll go from there. Yeah, come on then. Come on then. bits in here and just to dress it to make it look nice and yeah 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 so people can either can kind of see where we're going with with it with it all yeah so we've got all curtains and stuff so we've just got the wardrobe in there for now but it's beautiful just going out with the doors isn't it yeah and just to see The dining room, which is looking beautiful, isn't it? With the it furniture. We've got a bit of work to do on these chairs, like. Yeah. They still look beautiful in here. You can still imagine something like this being in here at some point, a nice big grand table. And yeah. I'll tell you with this plate. That's some size plate, that by the way. We've started, so when people are coming in, we want people to understand kind of what we're going to be doing with the place in the long term. Um, so that they can see it and visualize it. Terry's dressed it with some bits of furniture that he's picked up already and just starting to make it look nice so we can start to see the apartments come together and, and what we're going to start doing with them. So we'll take you up. I do love the settee there by the way. I do. I wasn't planning on having a settee there. I was planning on having two armchairs with a it's nice... It's a nice break when you get to the top of the stairs. And just... Yeah, I love two armchairs there. This is nice though. So we'll go to the 400 suite first. <coughs> and first one, so you've got your own entrance hall. Mm-hmm. You can play poker. Yep. New games table. New games table with some beautiful views. And then you can go into what will be the salon for the 400 suite.
So with this room, obviously you made a bit of a problem with it. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of a colour clash, red and green. Well, there is, but obviously I was insisting on I wanted a green fire in here, um, which we trolled the internet for and I finally got. Travelled halfway around France for. And then when I got the suite out, obviously I forgot that it was red. <laughs> so, but I will make it work. It will come together. You always do manage to make it work. Yeah. So. The walls will be painted green, <laughs> which sounds a bit drastic, but... What colour curtains? No, we don't. Uh, probably green as well. I don't know. We'll see. We're not at that stage yet. It's a very Christmassy room in the morning. <laughs> then through to the bedroom, which is more of a Rococo style. came from France, went to the UK and came back to France again, is that right? It is. So yeah. I've told everyone this, so I hope I was right. <laughs> yeah. Our little bathroom, we've got kind of laid out now so you can kind of see how this little bathroom's going to look. And again, when you, you just have to look and turn and just see them absolutely magnificent views out there, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it is. All of the baths are aimed to capture the best of the views. Mm -hmm. So everything's more about um, coming to relax rather than often convenience for a shower. It's about the experience. Yeah, yeah. So and being here and just enjoying it for, for how we enjoy it sort of thing and what we find beautiful about the place. Yeah. So we'll just go over to the what will be the 401 suite. And then again, you've got your own entrance hall. Just imagine a nice bottle of champagne sat on there with a couple of glasses for yeah. your arrival. Some of the furniture obviously we won't be keeping in, like these won't be staying in. Um, no. But we'll just put them to give you an idea. And then you'll come through into the salon. I do like this room.
that's here so it gives you an idea I see the cabinets and the table won't be staying we'll be getting nicer older ones but the sofa set was one that I was insisting on getting wasn't it this was literally this was the 15 hour round trip this one we remember it it's worth it yeah it's lovely it's very comfy as well surprisingly yeah I quite like the colour yeah it's not blue though bluey purple perfectly blue yeah. let's go see the bedroom come on then so we've got one of the bedrooms closed off right now and um, just because people wandering around there's a lot of work stuff in there so we've had to close one off but this bedroom I think it's probably all of our favourite room isn't it in here yeah just the way it all ties in and how it looks even now it, it ties in so as Terry's pointed out you look at the little markings on the um, bed on the the armoire on the, on the wardrobe and you look did you do that intentionally I'd seen it and then as soon as I'd seen the, the wardrobe and all that, I'd love them anyway. It's the style that I want, but I just thought, well, they're going to fit perfectly in this room. Mm -hmm. so, so it looks absolutely beautiful. I yeah. like it. I like it. I like it now. Yeah. It's a bit it's, decorating, but... I like a paint and it's ready, paint. ready for guests. Yeah. Sleep on the floor. We'll get you some sleeping bags. <laughs> then the bathroom, which again, the size of it, I don't think you just realise like how big a bathroom this actually is. Mm. When you think of all the bathrooms we've had in the UK, you can touch both arms like that and be that's yeah, it. Yeah. This is just it gets just beautiful. And then you just get that view. Yeah. And then we've got a nice oversized sink. We want this is quite a masculine bathroom. Because the other one's gonna be quite feminine. Yeah. And a quite square oversized toilet. And it'd be a beautiful oversized bath for it as well. Yeah. Again, it's just so, beautiful in here. Yeah. It will, will be. be nice. It will, will be. be in time. And then back out. Yeah, so obviously there's quite a lot of the furniture sorted there. And the barn's looking empty. I know. You can actually get into it. It's the first time I've ever been in, I think. Yeah, and there's no furniture, Shit. just blocking it all. Stopping you getting in. All right. So it's our open day today and we've met some local people that have came up with some absolutely amazing documents given us some actual history of this chateau, stuff that we've struggled to find. Well, I think obviously seeing these documents now it's just made us think that we're going to have to go back to the archives and yeah. just spend, I think, a full day there or maybe even a couple of days just searching through. We found a couple of little mm -hmm. sort of trails. Things that made sense and it ties into what we've been shown. So what we've said before is right yeah. and it all ties in, but this is a lot earlier than yeah. a lot of this. Some of the stuff we have here is 1762 and 1763. So it's in between the main building being built and the turret being built. Yeah. But it explains a lot, I think, yeah. of, of stuff we didn't understand before. Yeah. So we have here, we even have, this is from 1842, a tenancy agreement for one of the farms that was owned by 
um, the chateau yeah. and it was leased out to farmers and it's just amazing to see the just the Is intricacy. This the one with, um, all of the rules it's on. got all the rules it's got all what they're looking for so and um, today is the 5th of December um, 1842 I am Madame Felicity Lefray de Maison so the person who's in charge of the house at the time um, and we've got here we, we know that at that time it was um, two seconds I have it wrote down um, Madame Felicity Lefray de Maison de la Reine de Salle de la Lasalle so what looks like Reine de Salle, Reine Salle de la Lasalle it looks like a family that have had it for a while in that time mm -hmm. in the in the 1800s which would fit in between the Polinos owning it in the early 1900s yeah but the chateau owned a lot more land than what we I think we were even aware of to the point it had four farms yeah yeah we knew obviously it had all of the farm around here mm -hmm. at one point but and, and we had read somewhere that it basically everything you see that's green yeah. was owned by the chateau, chateau. Yeah. Um, but this has just confirmed it absolutely and we've the guy that's um, brought it and shown us through it and talked us through it this this it's, it's just amazing so Lentilet which is right next door to us used to be called Lantilet. Mm -hmm. So we know it was a different name back then, but it was also owned by the Chateau. And we've actually got it here. Um, the, so Ma Michael Vonnot, which he signed at the back here. Um, and when you see the, the difference in handwriting between the, the Chateau owner mm -hmm. and the farmer, it looks like they can literally just to say, write the name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's basically saying, this is your tenancy agreement. And this is the conditions that we're giving you to look after this farm for us. You've got to keep it in this state. You've got this many buildings. They've got to be kept like this. Um, you, even to the point of like looking after the trees and the young trees and how many trees there is. Mm -hmm. So again, it always looks like Lentilé, there's a, a cider factory there. It's always oh. been a cider factory up there by the looks of it, a pomery. Yeah. So it was an apple farm up there. Just to sit and read this is, is absolutely unreal. But to see the rules, to see to see what they have to do to look after it. Um, to, like to have them numbered, oh, sorry, yeah. five, six, it's seven. It's a proper original tenancy, tenancy agreement. agreement. Yeah. And it's it's just, it's absolutely unbelievable to see it. Um, I just think it's absolutely amazing. But it's brilliant because it's given us obviously more names to search so mm -hmm. last time we went to the archives we had nothing to go on yeah. nothing at all did we apart yeah. from the chateau and it was in la Lasalle. yeah we obviously found a couple of names back then mm -hmm. and we found a couple of names now with this so next time we go we'll have a uh, massive amount so we know yeah. in 1762 and 1763 it was dame catherine dupont um, and, and after that it's gone on to the rene salles which looks like also um, like father and son or brothers or yeah, it, it's yeah. it's stayed in the Rene Sal family for about 70 years by the looks of it according to this documents that I can see here and um, but it's this is right in between what looks like the French Revolution where yeah. it's all changed in the country yeah. anyway and so, then did it go on to the Polinos? I think it's gone to the Polinos, we'll need to check but I think it's gone from the Sal's to the Polinos after that and yeah. we even met so today we've also met um, somebody in between that yeah so in between the Polinos and the lady that we bought it from we've met we know about somebody else in between between it yeah and it was the lady that had cats in here and the roof in 1955 was gone it was gone then and she sat in here with rain pouring down in the chateau with her cats All down here. and candles she sat in here and she just loved her cats and she loved the chateau she just didn't have the it's money quite to look a after it sort of like sad romantic yeah, so it's story, it is. isn't it? Because you've got this beautiful building that's slowly like degraded yeah, over bit time. by bit, and you've got this poor old woman in here with the cats. Yeah, and candles and, and nothing candles, else. Candles, yeah, and you, you've got it. Obviously, the water just put, like obviously you can see here like where the water has been pouring mm -hmm. for some time, but and we didn't realise it's nearly like eighty years. It's been like that. It's, yeah, it's been yeah. fixed, but it's only been touched up in the meantime by the looks of it. It's yeah. not been properly, properly repaired like what we've done. No. No. Um, it's always just been a bodge in between. Yeah. Um, the same guy also knew the electrician that did the electrics in here in the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did the same thing. Yeah. We, really, it was his fault then. Yeah, um, his fault I got a couple of electric shocks. <laughs> but see, seeing some of this paperwork and, and just to be able to feel it and touch the history, we know well, this is to, absolutely... To have documents from, like there was a document as well which was between the period of 
the panelling going on yeah. and the tower being built. Yeah. Um, so just to have documents this old. That explains, it, it just explains so much to us. And like I say, to have names, we've got a list of names here, who who are even the people that we, well, the, the chateau rented the farms to at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Their we names. know as literally as far back as you can see now, mm -hmm. as far forward, as far left, and as far right, yeah. was owned by Chateau de la Lasselle. Yeah. And it's interesting as well, what I have noticed from the um, all the paperwork, we are right, and it wasn't a chateau until the turret went on. No, no. But it just talks about the big house of yeah, La La Salle mm -hmm. beforehand, and then after the turret, it's Chateau de La La Salle. Yeah. And I think that's really, yeah. it's just, just confirmed everything that we knew. We knew about it. But now we know that we're right. Yeah. So. But yeah. So. Think everyone's been happy today? Yeah, it's been a good day. Obviously, we've met some wonderful people as well. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, people from all over coming just to have a look around. Yeah, so. well, people with stories to tell because the families that have lived around here, it seems like they've lived around here for years and years and years. Yeah. Um, so we know people that know the farmer next door. We know people that knew his dad. Yeah. We know people that knew the owner's owners. We know, we've met so many people that then found out so much. Yeah. It's just been fantastic and just finding documents and stuff like that. So yeah, it's been a bit more nicer and enjoyable and quiet today. Yeah. I think tomorrow... We've got the fun tomorrow to come with a fun day. It's going to be... We know there's already 10 times the people booked in to come. So yeah, this was just kind of... We'll open it up to the locals and the people that have came have just been fantastic. Yeah, it's been wonderful because obviously we've had people from Patreon come. So it's mm -hmm. been an open day for Patreon. And then we had a couple of locals that come over as and well. And Mary came. Yeah. She, so, I think she was absolutely gobsmacked, wasn't she? Yeah. It's been a long good. time since she's been here and to, to see to the see changes it. we've made. Yeah. It's been good. So I hope you have enjoyed looking around and seeing some of the furniture that I've accumulated. <laughs> You've been accumulating this for the last five years, Tess. Yeah. It's oh, nice to see it in place now, though. It is. It's good. Uh, obviously, they're not when you're finished and we're going to need to get so much more and do so much more work. Mm -hmm. But it gives you a sort of an idea of how the rooms are going to be what sort of style that we're going to go and colours and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, yeah. yeah, it's good, it's good. But yeah, so for now, we'll go and enjoy the rest of the party. Yep, yeah. let's go and get see. some sandwiches and beer. Yep, yeah. and we'll see you on Wednesday. See you then. Bye. If you'd like to join us on our family journey, bring them back this once forgotten chateau then please join us on Patreon. The behind the scenes footage, updates, live chat, and your very own piece of the Chateau.